The Lotus Sutra. Sadharma Pandarika Sutra. Translated by Burton Watson. Nikhiran.info. Chapter 24. Bodhisattva Mayazan. At that time, Sheikh Yamuni Buddha emitted a beam of bright light from the knob of flesh on top of his head, one of the features of a great man, and also emitted a beam of light from the tuft of white hair between his eyebrows, illuminating the Buddha worlds in the eastern direction equal in number to the sands of 180,000 million Naodas of Ganges. Beyond these numerous worlds was a world called adorned with pure light. In this realm there was a Buddha named Pure Flower Constellation King Wisdom thus come one, worthy of offerings, of right and universal knowledge, perfect clarity, and conduct, well gone, understanding the world, unexcelled worthy, trainer of people, teacher of heavenly and human beings, Buddha, world honored one, and immeasurably and boundlessly. Great multitude of bodhisattvas surrounded him and paid reverence, and for these he preached the law. The beam of bright light from the white tuft of Shakyamuni Buddha illuminated the whole land. At that time in the land adorned with pure light there was a bodhisattva named Wonderful Sound, who long ago had planted numerous roots of virtue, offering alms to and waiting upon immeasurable hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, millions of Buddhas. He had succeeded in acquiring all kinds of profound wisdom, gaining the samadhi of the wonderful. Banner Mark, the Dharma Flower Samadhi, the Pure Virtue Samadhi, the Samadhi of the Constellation King's Sport, the Conditionless Samadhi, the Seal of Wisdom Samadhi, the Samadhi that allows one to understand the words of all living beings, the Samadhi that gathers together all benefits, the Pure Samadhi, with the Samadhi of the Sport of Transcendental Powers, the Wisdom Torch Samadhi, the Adorned King Samadhi, the Pure Light Glow Samadhi, the Pure Storehouse Samadhi, the Unshared Samadhi, and the Samadhi of the Sun's Revolving. He has gained all these great Samadhis equal in number to the sands of a hundred, a thousand, ten thousand, a million Ganges. When the light emitted by Shakyamuni Buddha illuminated his body, he immediately spoke to the Buddha Pure Flower Constellation King Wisdom, saying, World Honored One, I must journey to the Saha world to do obeisance, wait on, and offer alms to Shakyamuni Buddha, and to see Bodhisattva Manjushri, Prince of the Dharma, Bodhisattva Medicine King, Bodhisattva Brave Donor, Bodhisattva Constellation King Flower, Bodhisattva Superior Practices Intent, Bodhisattva Adorned King, and Bodhisattva Medicine Superior. At that time the Buddha Pure Flower Constellation King Wisdom said to Bodhisattva Wonderful Sound, you must not look with contempt on the land or come to think of it as a means and inferior. Good man, that Saha world is uneven, high in places, low in others, and full of dirt, stones, mountains, foulness, and impurity. The Buddha is puny in stature and the numerous bodhisattvas are likewise small in form, whereas your body is 42,000 yojanas in height and mine is 6,800,000 yojanas. Your body is foremost in shapeliness, with hundreds, thousands, ten thousands of blessings and a radiance that is particularly wonderful. Therefore when you journey there, you must not look with contempt on that land or come to think of the Buddha and Bodhisattvas or the land itself as mean and inferior. Bodhisattva Wonderful Sound said to the Buddha, World Honored One, My journey now to the Saha world is in all respects due to the power of the thus come one, a sport carried out by the thus come one's transcendental powers, an adornment to the thus come one's blessings and wisdom. Thereupon the Bodhisattva wonderful sound, without raising from his seat or swaying his body, entered into the Samadhi, and through the power of the Samadhi, in a place not far removed from the Dharma seat on Mount Kridrakuta, created a jeweled mass of 84,000 lotus blossoms. Their stems were made of Jambunita gold, their leaves were of silver, their stamens of diamond, and their calyxes of kimshika jewels. At that time the Dharma Prince Manjushri, spying the lotus flowers, spoke to the Buddha, saying, World Honored One, what causes have brought about the appearance of this auspicious sign? Here are many ten thousands of lotus blossoms, their stems made of jambunita gold, their stamens of diamond and their calyxes of kimshika jewels. 
At that time Sheikh Yamuni Buddha said to Manjushri, this Bodhisattva and Mahasattva wonderful sound wishes to leave the land of the Buddha pure flower constellation King Wisdom and, surrounded by 84,000 Bodhisattvas, to come to the Saha world to offer alms, wait on, and pay obeisance to me. He also wishes to offer alms to and hear the Lotus Sutra. Manjushri said to the Buddha, World Honored One, what good roots has this Bodhisattva planted, what benefits has he cultivated, that he can exercise such great transcendental powers as this. What samadhi does he carry out? I beg you to explain for us the name of this samadhi, for we too would look like to apply ourselves diligently to its practice. If we carry out this samadhi, then we will be able to observe the aspect and size of this bodhisattva and his bearing and conduct. We beg the world honored one to employ his transcendental powers to bring this bodhisattva here and enable us to see him. At that time Sheikh Yamuni Buddha said to Manjushri, many treasures thus come one, who entered extinction so long ago, will manifest his form for you. Then the Buddha many treasures said to the bodhisattva wonderful sound, come, good man. The Dharma Prince Manjushri wishes to see your body. With that, Bodhisattva wonderful sound vanished from his own land and, accompanied by eight four thousand Bodhisattvas, appeared here in the Saha world. The lands that he passed through on his way quaked and trembled in six different ways, and in all of them seven jeweled lotus flowers rained down and instruments of hundreds and thousands of the musicians sounded of themselves without having been struck. This Bodhisattva's eyes were as big and broad in the leaves of the blue lotus, and a hundred, thousand, ten thousand moons put together could not surpass the perfection of this face. His body was pure gold in color, adorned with immeasurable hundreds and thousands of blessings. His dignity and virtue were splendid, his light shone brightly, he was endowed with many special marks and as stalwart in body as Narayana. Taking his place on the dais made of seven treasures, he had risen up into the air until he was raised above the earth the height of seven tala trees. Then with a host of bodhisattvas surrounding him and paying reverence, he had journeyed to Mount Gridrakuta in the Saha world. When he arrived there he descended from the dais of seven of seven pressures. Bearing a necklace worth hundreds and thousands, he proceeded to the place where Sheikh Yamuni Buddha was, bowed his head to the ground, made obeisance to the Buddha's feet, and presented the necklace, addressing the Buddha in these words, World Honored One, the Buddha Pure Flower Constellation King Wisdom wishes to inquire about the World Honored One. Are your illnesses few, are your worries few? Can you come and go easily and conveniently, can you move about in comfort? Are the four elements properly harmonized in you? Can you endure the world's affairs? Are the living beings easy to the rescue? Are they not excessive? In their greed, anger, stupidity, jealousy, stinginess, and arrogance? Are they not lacking in filial conduct toward their parents? Are they not disrespectful toward Shramanas and given to heterodox views and other evil? Do they not fail to control their five emotions? World Honored One, are the living beings able to conquer and overcome the enmity of the devils? Has many treasures thus come one, who entered extinction so long ago, come in his tower of seven treasures to listen to the law. The Buddha also wishes to inquire about many treasures thus. Come one, whether he is tranquil and at ease, with few worries, patient and long abiding. World honored one, I would like to see the body of the Buddha many treasures. I beg the world honored one to allow me to see him. At the time Sheikh Yamuni Buddha said to many treasures Buddha, this Bodhisattva wonderful sound wishes to see you. Then many treasures Buddha addressed. Wonderful sound, saying, Excellent, excellent. You have come here in order to be able to offer alms to a Sheikh Yamuni Buddha and to listen to the Lotus Sutra and see Manjushri and the others. At that time the Bodhisattva flower virtue said to the Buddha, World Honored One, this Bodhisattva wonderful sound what good roots has he planted, what benefits has he cultivated, that he possesses these supernatural powers? The Buddha replied to Bodhisattva Flower Virtual, In ages past there was a Buddha named Cloud Thunder Sound King, Tathagata, Arhats, Samyaksambuddha. 
his land was called. Manifesting all worlds and his kalpa was called gladly seen. For twelve thousand years the Bodhisattva wonderful sound employed a hundred thousand types of musical instruments to provide an offering to the Buddha Cloud Thunder Sound King, and he also presented to him eighty-four thousand alms bowls made of the seven treasures. In recompense for these actions he has now been born in the land of the Buddha Pure Flower Constellation King Wisdom and possesses these supernatural powers. Flower Virtue, What is Your Opinion? The Bodhisattva Wonderful Sound who at that time made musical offerings to the Buddha Cloud Thunder Sound King and presented him with jeweled vessels was he someone unknown to you? In fact is none other than the Bodhisattva and Mahasattva Wonderful Sound who is here now. Flower Virtue this Bodhisattva wonderful sound has already made offerings to and waited on an immeasurable number of Buddhas. Long ago he planted the roots of virtue and encountered hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, millions of Navadas of Buddhas equal in number to the sands of the Ganges. Flower virtue, you see only the body of Bodhisattva wonderful sound which is here. But this Bodhisattva manifests himself in various different bodies and preaches the Sutra for the sake of living beings in various different places. At times he appears as King Brahma, at times as Lord Chakra, at times as the Heavenly Being Freedom, at times as a Great General of Heaven, at times as the Heavenly King Vaishravana, at times as a Wheel-Turning Sage King, at times as one of the Petty Kings, at times as Rich Man, at times as a householder, to times the chief minister, at times as a Brahmin, at times as a monk, a nun, a layman believer, or laywomen believer, at times as the wife of a rich man or a householder, at times as a wife of a chief minister, at times as a wife of a Brahmin, at times as a young boy or a young girl, at times as a heavenly being, a dragon, a Yaksha, a Gandharv, an Azura, a Garuda, a Kimnara, a Mahoraga, a human or a non-human being, so preaches. This Sutra The Hell Dwellers, Hungry Spirits, Beasts, and the numerous others who are in difficult circumstances are thus are able to be saved. And for the sake of those who are in women's quarters of the royal palace, he changes himself into a woman's form and preaches the Sutra. Flower Virtue this Bodhisattva wonderful sound can save and protect the various living beings of the Saha world. This Bodhisattva wonderful sound performs various transformations, manifesting himself in different forms in the Saha land and preaches the Sutra for the sake of living beings, and yet his transcendental powers, his transformations, and his wisdom suffer no injury or diminution thereby. This Bodhisattva employs various types of wisdom to illuminate the Saha world, causing each one among all the living beings to acquire the appropriate understanding, and does the same in all the other worlds of the ten directions which are numerous as Ganges sands. If the form of a voice hearer is what is needed to bring salvation, he manifests himself in the form of a voice hearer and proceeds to preach the law. If the form of a Pratyeka Buddha will bring salvation, he manifests himself in the form of a Pratyeka Buddha and preaches the law. If the form of a bodhisattva will bring salvation, he manifests a bodhisattva form and preaches the law. If the form of a Buddha will bring salvation, he immediately manifests a Buddha form and preaches the law. Thus he manifests himself in various different forms, depending upon what is appropriate for salvation. And if it is appropriate to enter extinction in order to bring salvation, he manifests himself as entering extinction. Flower Virtue the Bodhisattva Mahasattva's wonderful sound has acquired great transcendental powers and the power of wisdom that enable him to do all this. At that time the Bodhisattva flower virtue said to the Buddha, World Honored One, this Bodhisattva wonderful sound has planted the roots of goodness very deeply. World Honored One, Samadhi does this Bodhisattva dwell in, that he is able to carry out all these transformations and manifestations to save living beings. The Buddha said to Bodhisattva Flower Virtue, Good man, this Samadhi is called manifesting all kinds of bodies. The Bodhisattva Wonderful Sound, dwelling in this Samadhi, is able in this manner to enrich and benefit immeasurable living beings. When the Buddha preached this chapter on Bodhisattva Wonderful Sound, 
The 84,000 persons who had come with Bodhisattva Wonderful Sound all acquired the Samadhi enabling them to manifest all kinds of bodies, and the immeasurable Bodhisattvas in the Saha world also acquired the Samadhi and Dharni. At that time the Bodhisattva and Mahasattva Wonderful Sound, having finished offering alms to Sheikh Yamuni Buddha and to the Tower of Many Treasures Buddha, returned to his original land. The lands that he passed through on his way quaked and trembled in six different ways, jeweled lotus flowers rained down, and hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, millions of different kinds of music played. After he had arrived in his original land and was surrounded by his 84,000 bodhisattvas, he proceeded to the place of the Buddha Pure Flower Constellation King Wisdom and addressed the Buddha saying, World Honored One, I have visited the Saha world, enriched and benefited the living beings, saw Sheikh Yamuni Buddha and the Tower of Many Treasures Buddha, and offered obeisance and alms to them. I also saw Bodhisattva Manjushri, Prince of the Dharma, as well as Bodhisattva Medicine King, Bodhisattva Gaining Diligent Exertion Power, Bodhisattva Brave Donor, and others. And I made it possible for these 84,000 Bodhisattvas to gain the Samadhi enabling them to manifest all kinds of bodies. When the Buddha preached this chapter on the comings and goings of Bodhisattva Wonderful Sound, 42,000 sons of gods gained the truth of the birthlessness of all phenomena, and Bodhisattva Flower Virtue gained the Dharma Flower Samadhi. And LS 24